All right, guys, Andrew Bropros here. Hey, just thought I would do a real quick live video. Uh, just go through some of the things that's happened today. Um, some interesting information, right? J.C. Jackson is going to under, undergo some undisclosed injury. Looks like two to four weeks out. Guys, that's a huge blow, right? It's it's frustrating to think about, you know, how much money and, and hope we had with him. But we really need him week one. Obviously, he's not going to be there. Um, oh, it's a blow, guys. I mean, it's 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 frustrating um, to see this happen. But unfortunately, guys, that's part of the game, right? We all know that uh, these things do happen. Um, the other piece of the puzzle, too, is Josh Palmer enters concussion protocol. I do worry that he might not be there week one. He probably will be, I would assume, but he definitely will not be playing uh, this week versus the Saints. But, you know, it, it's, 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 it brings up an interesting point, though, that we have to uh, kind of look at, um, you know, the team as a whole, right? It's not just about building the best players possible, but also adding depth, right? You don't really replace someone like a J.C. Jackson or a Josh Palmer. They do things better than most people, period, right? It's something that, you know, if you go back and see uh, Brandon Seeley's comments today, uh, they're impossible to replace, right? But what you hope is that you have enough depth that you can bring people in to, you know, do maybe 70% or 80% of what they do on the field, right? So, uh, it's really interesting. And then, the, of course, we also know about Isaiah Spiller, um, who's got an injury as well. Um, it doesn't seem too concerning at this point, but injuries are mounting, guys, right? And it's starting to be a problem. I'll be honest with you. I think we're getting away a little bit easy so far in preseason. I, I don't I want to knock on wood, you know, because you never really know how much worse it gets. But, boy. You know, it's one of those things you just, you know, I mean, I mean, look, look at the other notable injuries right here, guys. Dean Leonard's out. Uh, Mark Webb, <laughs> Lowe, Gilman, Parham is still struggling. Ty Shelby Groin will be out. He actually is. Uh, well, I'll talk a little bit more about that. Tavon Knee, Tavon Campbell Knee. Um, you know, it's it's something to really think about, right? Because again, at the end of the day, you know, we really have to watch um, these injuries mount. Unfortunately, as fans, but. You know, like I said, hopefully some of these folks that we picked up, um, you know, can step up and, uh, you know, get some things done. So, um, OK, we did. We we waived two more players last uh, yesterday. James McCourt. Uh, we I discussed a little bit about that. And then uh, Cameron Hunt is is gone. So we were down to 83 players. OK, so who are the other players that we waived? Uh, we just waived. Interestingly, Tavon Campbell. You know, I, I, I think it's funny that we waved Tavon Campbell largely because, um, you know, you know, yeah, he, he had some some bad uh, games uh, last season. But uh, and, you know, it's one of those situations where, you know, losing J.C. Jackson, obviously, uh, you know, Dean Leonard's having some issues. You would almost think you would keep Tavon Campbell, but apparently this goes to show me that that we did not see enough in Tavon to keep him on the team, and so letting him go was the best option. Damon Lloyd, that kind of made sense. I, I kind of felt like, you know, we're pretty crowded linebacker to some degree. Um, and then Ty Shelby, uh, there were some injuries there that I think they were probably mounting that, you know, okay, it's time to move down to the 80. Interestingly, though, we did sign Michael Jaquette, um, and placed uh, tight end uh, Stone Smart on reserve. So pretty interesting situation um, where we stand right now as a team. Um, I was listening to, um, you know, Brandon Staley quite a bit and Khalil Mack and really just um, uh, Joe Lombardi talking about, you know, the team as a whole. And, you know, he consistently says, hey, Joe Lombardi specifically, I really liked his his words. He was like, look, hey, we're, we're it's coming together, right? I'm really hoping that we can get it together here pretty soon. So, look, guys, this one's this one's going to hurt, obviously, but uh, the next one's going to be worse. So we're going to be down to 53 players, guys, 53 players. And I promise you, our players that we want uh, are going to be cut. So, guys, let me know what you think. I know this is um, kind, of, kind of crazy news, um, you know, losing um, – JC Jack, well, at least JC Jackson.
for a short period of time. And then obviously, uh, Josh Paul, it's not a tickling contest out there. This is a, this is a violent sport, right? So, um, you know, I mean, let me know what you guys think, you know, uh, use this as an opportunity to, uh, discuss what you think our coaching staff is doing well and not doing well. So, um, anyways, guys, just wanted to give you that update. Just came out a little while ago and, um, always bolt up, don't punt. See you in the next one.